Jed is my second son. He was definitely a very happy kid. Jed left our home in the middle of January in 2018. I got up that morning and noticed that his bedroom door was open and saw that he wasn't in there. And then I noticed a suicide note on his desk. Oh my God, how could this possibly be happening? It was like a body blow. I do not believe he committed suicide. We were completely blindsided by Jed's disappearance. There had been no disagreements. I went to the school and noticed that there was a broken window right next to the door. And that was when I called 911. He had taken one of our family cars with him, the Nissan Versa. The last ping on Jed's phone was down near the river, near the boat dock. There was a journal found that said all the things that he would take with him. Clothing, I know he took his retainer, seven pairs of underwear, because that'll last you for two weeks. Why would you take your retainer and changes of underwear if you were just gonna go and kill yourself? The private investigator believes that Jed has run off. Today, October 29th, marks the 19th birthday of Matthew Jed Hall. Now, he's the teenager that disappeared nearly three years ago on January 22nd, 2018. Now, since then, police, a private investigator, and his parents are searching for answers to how the teen vanished. There has been absolutely no sign, no clue, no hint of him or the vehicle for four and a half years. After Jed left, I spent 90% of the time sobbing totally and completely helpless. If they pull Jed out of the river tomorrow and there's his body in the car, it's the worst possible scenario, but at least I could move on from there. But I'm just holding on to hope and trying to stumble back into life. Well, Amy, it's, it's good to meet you. And let's talk about Jed for a minute because his disappearance came totally out of the blue for you. He, this was a happy young man. Yes. Engaged in every way, family-wise, friends, school, mm -hmm. gr gr just no indications, no red flags, nothing that this is someone that would go away. Correct. And you said he was always trying to improve himself, do a better job of being Jed, just mm -hmm. everything that you would, that, that a mother, a, a parent would look for in a young man that mm -hmm. you would hope for. Mm -hmm. He set goals with the C Civil Air Patrol group. Right. What with was he like? Le list left on his desk. <laughs> right. <laughs> What was your relationship with him the last time you saw him, the last few weeks that you were around him? Any major changes or anything? No, there didn't seem to be any big changes. Uh, we always kind of tucked him in at night and asked him how his day had gone and so on, and I'd done that the night before. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I had gone to give him a kiss, and he moved, and so I ended up kissing his nose, and so then we were both laughing about that. And now I wish I had taken the time to kiss him properly on the cheek and give him a big hug and so on, or wish well, I'd known to say something. Kiss on the nose and a good laugh is a pretty good exchange, <laughs> right? That's, that's a pretty good that, that's a pretty good exchange. <laughs> now, you went to his room, door was open. That's when you found the, the letter. Not right away, but yes. Yeah, and it was in his room. Right. Yeah. But... He wasn't there when he was supposed to be, so why did you go straight to the school? Um, first, we searched the house. Um, we searched the yard. Um, mm. And my husband said, why don't you drive to the school and I'll drive to where the Civil Air Patrol meets and to another spot where he and I used to go hiking almost every week, and we'll check those places and then we'll regroup But this was after house. you found the note. Right. Okay, so there were three places that were kind of in his orbit, and so you read the note, you said, let's go check the three places that we know are in his world. Right. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.